Value is one of the seven elements of art, and very simply it refers to how light or how dark something is. And when you're drawing or painting, you want to make sure that you include a healthy range of different values in your work for it to look more complete, balanced, and realistic. And it doesn't matter what medium you're working in, you want to create your own value scales so that you have practice creating these different values in whatever medium you choose to use. So these are some value scales created by a former student. And one thing that I've noticed in my years of teaching is that people will either create a range of values that are too light or a range of values that are too dark. Many new artists use only these lighter values and they forget to include the darker values that are essential for creating form. If I were a new artist wanting to draw or paint this scene, I might not be able to distinguish the darkest darks and the lightest lights. One simple thing that I can do is go into the editing software of my phone or tablet and turn the photograph into a black and white one. I'm now better able to see a range of these values. I can see where the lightest lights are and I can see where the darks are, and I can see many different areas of the in-between values. So instead of getting distracted by the color, I can just pay attention to the value. Another thing that I have beginning students do is go back into the editing and play around with the exposure. Notice how the darker I make the exposure, the more I can see exactly where the lights are, and if I flip it in the opposite direction, I can see where the darkest darks are more easily. Another thing you can do that I've talked about before is to get a transparent red filter or lens. These are part of a pair of glasses that I got on Amazon for about six pounds. If you wanted to draw me from life and you were looking at my face, you might have difficulty seeing where the darkest darks and lightest lights are. But if you put this lens on, you can more easily see all the variations in the darks and the lights. And this works very well for landscapes. It also works for interior scenes. Making your own value scale and practicing those techniques will really help train your eye to see different values.